And here's another one. This thing about God being love. And Jesus loves me on unconditional love. Well, any God that I've ever read about, and let's let's be clear, we've only read and heard about these uh, beings. Uh, we never met one. Um, and especially the one I'm familiar with is the one from the B-I-B-L-E. Uh, doesn't sound real loving to me. You know, uh, believed in people killing each other, believed in war, uh, ordered people to go to war. Um, and, you know, he'll throw you a bone if you love him and if you serve him and if you do what he says. So that is not unconditional love. And then there's also the promise of um, hellfire, you know, hellfire burning forever and a day. And, uh, of course, the, uh, the uh, religion my, most of my family subscribes to, um, they think it's much better because they teach that you, uh, he won't burn you forever. He'll just burn you according to your misdeeds, you know. So some will burn a little longer than others, but it all comes out right in the end because he's so all-knowing. And so that's that's a good thing in their eyes, you know. That's that's good. Well, there you go. I um, you know, I, I don't know how people can believe in this stuff uh, anymore. Um, any love that you feel when you think about God is something you generate. All your emotions are inside of you, so don't mistake it for uh, some a loving God. Uh, or external force or angel or guide or whatever you've been reading about. It's you. It's all you. Thank you. Bye.